Morley Notes, 28th January, 2023 The mantra of Manmana Bhav frees you from all sins. That means, when you are mentally locked on to the connection with God, then circumstances which would normally trigger a reaction have no power over you. This includes moral indignation, ego reaction to provocation, and getting bound into a situation that compels you to act according to your sanskara and produces negative karma and a karmic debt. One interpretation of sin is to perform a negative karma, but far more relevant and impactful is to get pulled into a situation that stimulates a sanskara to repeat a regularly performed negative karma. This is the real meaning of sin, and this is what Raj Yoga destroys. Your past karmic debts must be settled. The main problem is not that you performed a single negative act, but that you can easily get triggered to perform that same category of negative karma again and again, which traps you and increases the weight on your soul. You are weighted to repeat this action. Manmana Bhav connects you to the source of spiritual power and that energy counteracts the weight on your soul. Ultimately, there is no weight. This is the meaning of karmatit, free from karmic bondage. But you need to understand this mechanism. It is totally in opposition to conventional moral responses. Conventional moral responses are more likely to increase sin than anything else because they encourage you to exact retribution, revenge, etc. Together with taking power, and neutralizing the weight of the tendency to sin again, you must also acquire detailed knowledge of the philosophy of karma in order to ensure that your actions are correct. Conventional morality is based on ignorance and miscalculation, causing people to get into ever tighter karmic bondages with each other. Therefore, Baba recommends that we can dispense with it altogether. Your conscience has to become so subtle and refined that you know intuitively what is right and wrong, moment by moment, situation by situation. One must bear in mind and be aware that others, including most BKs, are trapped in conventional morality and moral responses to circumstances. In this context, perform your role independently of the social environment of conventional morality while operating yourself according to the philosophy of karma that Baba has taught. This is very difficult, subtle, and not obvious. Your sanskaras are formed by toxic conventional morality into which you are locked. To come out of that is a knife-edge balancing act. One must be light, flexible, and agile. 
you need all the powers, refined sensitivity to what is right in any given situation, and a good sense of humor. The direction of our lives is not for continuity in the present world, but for winding up all outstanding commitments, simplifying, letting go, and preparing to return to the world of light, Nirvana. For that, the Karmatit stage is required. The present cycle is ending, and a new cycle is beginning. The end of the cycle is characterized by total breakdown of all social, economic, political, and healthcare systems. There is intensifying polarization, conflict, and mutually assured destruction. This is inevitable. There is no point in devoting time, energy, and money to attempting to restore broken systems in the material world. Many people are already doing that. Our attention has to be focused on understanding the knowledge deeply and accurately, drawing spiritual power from Shiv Baba and getting these two disseminated. As a result, old people would have the opportunity to become free and create fortune. Any other form of social service is for the purpose of enabling the dissemination of Gyan and Yoga. One must remember this priority. Regarding Sin and Punya, which is pure karma, it is as if there are two magnets. The power of the pull of the magnet of negative karma over 63 births is equal to the magnetic power of God. How do you calculate this power? If you say the average duration of each birth in the second half of the cycle is approximately 50 to 60 years, Consider the weight of each second in body consciousness as one gram. Since Baba refers to sin as weight, you can consider that the weight on your head pulling you towards your old sanskaras is 119,206,080 kilograms. That is pretty heavy. It means you need to draw an equal amount of power from God to neutralize it and become karmatit. In addition to yoga power, there is also the power of your pure karma of spiritual service, plus the power of blessings from those who have benefited from you. Have you accumulated almost 120 million kilograms of positive magnetic energy? Baba suggests 8 hours meditation a day for about 50 years. That is 10,800,000 seconds of accurate yoga. That means one second of yoga has to destroy one kilogram of sin, more or less. We cannot say that all the time we spend sitting in yoga is of that intensity. The other problem is that much of the time in BK life is spent in body consciousness and additional sins get performed. This factor cannot be calculated, but seeing the percentage of time during the day one is in good yoga we probably all need to give greater attention to reducing our kilos and adding megawatts of spiritual light. Obviously, these numbers are rather arbitrary, but it gives a quantifiable idea that we can think about. 
Another factor to apply to the equation is the amount of sincere bhakti performed during those 63 births, including charity and various beneficial karmas. This creates sanskaras of the remembrance of God, personal discipline, inclination to love humanity and nature, hospitality, renunciation, etc. There is an additional calculation of trauma, which means sorrow that one has taken from various experiences during 63 births through war, accidents, illnesses, calamities, etc. Baba says, she Baba, God, that his power is equal to the total amount of negative karma performed by all the souls in all their births during the second half of the cycle. That is a lot of power. His instruction to us is to tap into that power and fill ourselves. As a result, you become completely free, fully empowered, light and divine. Bap Saman, which means like God. Om Shanti.